Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 26th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about constants. We're going to look at what constants are, how they are different from variables, why we need to use them, why we need to learn how to use them and what are the different methods in which we can create constants and then use them in our C programs. So as you can see in my IDE I have saved a file. It's called uh, constants underscore part one dot C. On line one I have a header file and on line 2 I have declared the main function and my curly braces are in place so I can put in my code. Now a constant as the name suggests is something that doesn't change its value right so if you have a variable in your program let's say it's an integer variable you give it a value when you declare it right that's called initialization if you give it a value 5 or 10 or whatever you can change that value later on during the life of your program if you feel that you know the value has to change. But if you have a constant in your program, then you can give it a value just once, right? And you cannot change it while the program is being executed. That's important. You know, if uh, you want to change the value of a constant, that's possible. But if you've given it a value once, then while the program is executing, that value cannot change. So that's one difference between a constant and a variable. And uh, why would you want to use such a thing? You know, it obviously doesn't offer any kind of flexibility. Like, you know, if you're using uh, data in your program then you would want to store it in variables because you know that will allow you to change the data as you know the need be but you know on certain occasions you're dealing with the uh, things such as universal constants like uh, you know universal gravitational constant or epsilon or pi for that instance now, the value of pi was 3.14 20 years ago and the value would hopefully be 3.14 you know two decades later so you know there are certain things that do not change um, you know their value and it's known to us that they're not going to change uh, their value and also something that you're sure you're going to use a lot in your program and you would want to you know keep that the value of that thing constant then you can just put it at the beginning of your program and then not worry about you know accidental change to the the value like if you're editing your program or for some if someone else is looking at the code or editing the code or if you're debugging your program then you might accidentally change the value or something so if you're using constants then you can avoid that so anyway, uh, there are two methods uh, we can use to declare constants, define constants, and we're going to check out one method in this tutorial and the other one in the next tutorial. So in this tutorial, the method that we're going to check out is the hash defined preprocessor directive method. So it sounds complicated, but it's pretty simple. So what we're going to do is instead of typing in our code between the curly braces of the main function, we're going to type our code outside the main function because we want our constants to be known throughout the program. We don't want them to be known within the main function. And in this method, you cannot, uh, you know, put in the hash define uh, preprocessor directory within the main function. So that's a rule. So what you have to do is type in the pound symbol for hash, and then type in the keyword define. Give a space. You're not going to use angular brackets here like you use for your header files. You have to put a space character. Type in the name of your constant. So if suppose I want to declare a constant called pi, and if I want to give it a value of 3.14. I separate the name with the value with a space character, right? So that's the first constant that I've created. The second one that I'm going to create is going to be called radius, right? And uh, the value I'm going to give to this is 10. So both are numeric constants. And now within the main function, I'm going to write a few lines of code that are going to compute the area of a circle, the radius of which is 10, right? So I'll have a variable called uh, area in my program and that's going to be of integer data type and that's going to hold the value of the area. And you know that if a circle has radius r then the area of that circle will be pi r squared, right? So to compute the area you use the mathematical expression pi times radius times radius. And you would see that as I type in the first few letters of my constant code blocks automatically suggest me that if I want to use it then I can just press the enter key and uh, the constant would uh, show up in my program. Anyway, I didn't use that. I didn't make use of that functionality. So now the area has been computed and we have to print it on screen. So for that, I'm going to use the printf method. And uh, within double quotes in printf, I'll type in the area of the circle is, and uh, put in the percentage d symbol, and then type in area. So I'm not going to terminate the state and save the file. Click on build and run to see the output. And uh, it's taking a little bit of time for the program to execute. So there you go. You see the output. The area of the circle is 314, and that's the correct value. Because if you multiply 10 with itself, that would give us 100. And if you multiply that by 3.14, you would get 314. 
so uh, that's it for this tutorial uh, i wanted to keep it simple and uh, there are a lot of interesting things that you can do with constants and uh, i'm pretty sure you you must have got a hang of uh, how cool they can be you know if you're thinking that way then you're thinking good in the next tutorial, we're going to check out another method of declaring constants. It's pretty similar to the method that we use to declare variables. You just have to type in an additional keyword called const. And uh, we'll check that out in the next one. So for the time being, this is all I wanted to talk about. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. And see you soon.